There are many guides out there for speed and stamina, by a lot of top players who have much greater achievements than I have, though I may not have the top level skills of players like Eterna. I still have greatly improved in both finger control and stamina, with the former being one of my main skill sets in my top plays. For example, I had an old replay on my channel where I failed on the first 50 notes on a 120 BPM stream map, where I understreamed from the start, and at that point, I had 5 star FCs, so I wasn't just starting the game. So if anyone is qualified to talk about improving speed, I feel like I have some experience in that field. Osu now has many tools to improve that didn't exist or were really primitive when I started the game. The tools I'm talking about include lasers rate editing, as well as there being Osu Trainer and Mikosu. With these tools, Speed and other skills have a multitude of maps to pick from, rather than just choosing one map of a certain BPM. Be sure to check out Osu Laser or Mekosu if you want to utilize these tools, since it's much easier to change a slow map faster to improve speed, or a fast map to be a bit slower so you can improve on it. With these tools, I have created plenty of rate edits to my favorite map, and one I believe improved my speed and finger control to the point I'm at today. This map is 217 BPM and 6 minutes and 16 seconds long, and a very well known map in the Osu community. So, what is so special about it? I believe there's a few factors to this map that, when put together, make it a great resource to improve finger control and speed. When I first played this map, I was not good at all, getting less than 100 max combo and a 64% D rank. Ouch. Granted, I didn't have the resources people have today, and it was jumping from not being able to stream 120 BPM to doing 217 BPM bursts. With that, I was bound to suck on my first attempts. However, in 4 months of playing it, I was consistently getting C rank, with 74% accuracy and around 100 less misses. Then in 5 months, I was at B ranks and under 100 total misses. Maybe not the quickest improvement, but definitely improvement nonetheless. So here's what makes this map different. It's better than just going onto stream maps like Emu's Sidetrack Days and grinding that until you can mash your way through 280 BPM. The key difference that this and many other Gorship maps have is variety in their patterns. Not all maps are just one long speed stream. Okay, maybe there are a lot of them, but shut up. Finger control and speed coincide a lot more than you may realize, and learning both will contribute to being a successful speed player at the upper skill level. With that being said, maps such as this one are filled with bursts of different length that will inherently increase your stamina and finger control. However, the special part of the map is that it tests both bursts and single taps, integrating both into a finger control hell. Tie this together with a map length of over 6 minutes, as well as slowly increasing the length of the streams over the time of the map, you can clearly see that this map is perfect for finger control and stamina. With this, and the tools talked about at the beginning, speed, stamina, and finger control will be very easy to train. However, this doesn't mean that you won't have to put in the time and dedication to fully master these skills. As the greats in Osu know, you have to play more to improve. Though I don't like using just those words, since there are a lot of bad practices and different ways that the phrase play more can actually be harmful, especially when learning the complexities of the game, like speed and finger control. Thanks for watching, I really just wanted to showcase a map that I see as helpful to my skills in Osu, and share it with those who were in my position. Anyways, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe, and as always, see you next time.